it's April 14th and I'm just giving a quick update on this uh, Choi Sum or uh, Yol Tsai and it's going pretty impressive as many of these guys are getting over an inch in diameter at the base there are some problems like this guy it looks like it might be getting a little bit of rot but it's been raining a lot recently but this is just under five weeks. And it's like some of these guys, a lot of them are already starting to rise the stocks and ready to be harvested already. Actually, most of them are to a certain extent. But not all of them, so. That means I'll probably have. Yeah. But right here, it looks like I'm starting to get some type of uh, mold problem. I well, really can't do anything about that. Yeah, I really didn't have that much space to plant these guys. Because they're growing a lot faster than I expected. Yeah, the growth, is, growth rate is pretty insane. I have to pull out a lot of these guys. And here's a volunteer cherry tomato which is growing at a pretty crazy rate itself. It's already literally a foot tall or more. It's over a foot tall. And I guess it grew at the same time these where these vegetables started growing so got a little bit of bug problem but it's not gonna be a big issue because it's already about time to harvest. I used uh, 10 20 20 fertilizer and gypsum in order to loosen up the soil. And also used azomite to provide micronutrients. But this bok choy uh, right in the corner, it's gotten only a little bit bigger. And it looks like all the guys are catching right up to it. And just taking a look at the rest of the garden. For the most part, I really haven't done so much. This is a saltus plant, or what is it called again? Yeah, it's a saltus, or there's another name for it, or asparagus lettuce. And it's starting to grow pretty well. I just planted these a week ago. These are some store-bought celery plants and it looks like they're starting to get adapted to the garden. Here's my jalapeno which is starting to fruit. And uh, here's my sweet pepper. And the uh, yeah, tomato starting to bruise too. Some of these seedlings are in here too. Got a ghost pepper right here and some cayenne peppers. Some more bok choys. And a few more seedlings starting right here. Some corn, daikon radish, malabar spinach. And I forgot what these guys are. But let's see another two months, I'll get this whole garden filled out.